What's up everybody, Brendan Peel here for GuideLive.com. We're at a brand new Dave & Buster's that's opening soon in Euless, but we got in a little bit early. So we're gonna check out the food and some of the sites, but most importantly, I just wanna beat my coworkers at some arcade games. So let's go do this. Look at what Fogger has been reduced to. This is just sad. This is really sad. Arcades aren't what they used to be. I don't really know what's going on, but apparently I'm not, not good enough to beat two people at once. Right, shining, flashing in my eyes. <laughs> I got the Pac-Man fever. And there goes Vader. That was easy. We're gonna save ourselves like a two and a half hour movie. So uh, I had heard a lot about this game before I came here. It's actually pretty new. Uh, came out 2014 according to the company, I think. It's pretty cool. Star Wars has a good history of good arcade games, and I, I think that lives up. I just made a single shot. There we go. I just got the jackpot. It's going too slow. So here's the thing that bugs me about arcades today. This is a Flappy Bird arcade machine. Flappy Bird was a free iPhone game that was horrible. Everybody hated it. Well, that's not true. I hated it. It was terrible. Now you can pay money to play a bad version of a free game for tickets. And it's not the only game like that. If you look around here, there's, I know that there's a Fruit Ninja game, there's a Temple Run game. Arcades are just stealing free iPhone games and they all suck and it bums me out because arcades just do better than this. But you can flop, I guess. I don't know. 